Hello, in this quick video, I want to fix you with an issue with any Fire TV that has a static sound. Now, this particular one is an Amazon brand Fire TV, but you could have a Pioneer, you can have a Hisense, Insignia, Toshiba. It doesn't matter which brand or model Fire TV that you have. Now, the first thing I want you to do is go to the app that you're having an issue with. So, for example, if I'm on YouTube, I have an issue with the sound. Try a different video altogether. And if that doesn't work, go to home and then try a different app. So for example, I'm having an issue on YouTube, try Netflix or try Prime Video. And if, there, if you're not having an issue with another app, you know it's that app, go ahead and uninstall that app and reinstall it. That should fix the issue. Now, the next thing I want you to try is look at your remote. And while you're watching a video, let's say, go ahead and blast it on the remote, just blast it all the way to 100. And let that go for a good five minutes. A lot of times there uh, is a kink in the speakers itself, and that sometimes will fix the issue, believe it or not. Also make sure you don't have it on mute. So I'm gonna unmute it and mute it. All right, next thing I want you to do is go to home, click the home button here, and then go all the way to settings, which is that little gear shift looking thing right there. Click enter, go down, and then from what here, what I want you to do is go to device and software, and I just want you to do a simple restart. I did have an issue with my Fire TV static. That actually fixed the issue. Give it a minute, and then go back to your app and see if you're getting static noise. If that does not work, go ahead to the back and completely unplug it from the TV, the power, or from the wall and leave that for a good five to 10 minutes. Plug it back in, turn it back on, see if that will fix the issue. A lot of times that will fix the issue. If you do have speakers connected through HDMI or whatever, uh, go ahead and unplug all your devices. So a lot of times the HDMI port that's connected to the back of the TV will cause static issues. So for example, if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation or an Apple TV connected to your TV in your HDMI. Go ahead and unplug everything and then just manually uh, play it without any HDMI and then see if that works. If you if it does work, try a completely different HDMI uh, I port. So there might be an issue just with that HDMI port. And then from there, what, what you can do is you can go back to settings Go back to settings, and then what you're going to do is go to inputs, and then change it to a, a different HDMI port. That a lot of times will fix the issue. Now, next thing I want you to do is go back to device and software, and what I want you to do is click on about, and I want you to check for updates. A lot of times an update will fix the issue. Next thing I want you to do is go back to home and again, go back to that little gear shift settings icon. And what I want you to do is go to display and sounds and go to sound settings. And I want you to play around over here to the side. I want you to play around TV speakers. Go ahead and click off. Try that. Also reset the sound settings. Reset it. Go to Advanced Settings, Volume Leveler, click that on Mid, try that. And so basically we're going to play around with the sound settings. Balance, go all the way to 10, see if that will fix the issue. And so just play around with that in general. All right, if I go to Audio Settings, as you can see there, Audio Output, TV speakers, click off. Try that. Digital audio format, click pass through. All right. Now, after you've tried that and that still does not work, the last case possible scenario is to do a full factory restore, reset. And what we want to do is go back to the device and software, click on uh, down all the way down here. Now, if you choose reset to factory defaults, that's going to make it's like a, it's brand new out of the box. That will wipe out all your data, all your apps. You won't have to reinstall everything, put in your email address and all that. 
But if that doesn't work, then you know the issue is something internally with the speakers. Um, and what you can do, not a big deal, you can purchase you some speakers. And I'll put a link in the comment section where you can get them off of Amazon that you can connect directly to your TV. And then you want to mute the TV and have it play. You can get speakers with HDMI. You can get them through an import port device. But that is, this doesn't mean your TV is ruined. And I'll put a link in the comment section where you can get them. All right, thanks so much for watching. And tell me which method worked for you in the comment section. I bet it'll probably be a reset or ra rather a restart probably will fix nine out of 10 of your problems. And make sure you subscribe.